So hey guys, Reputable95 today with another video. Um, so this is either going to be an opportunistic finds or a Richmond Park kind of put more together video. Uh, I guess you'll know by now because it'll be uploaded to YouTube. But yeah, um, yeah, it depends on how much we see. But um, so I'm here. You're just going to have to ignore the helicopter. This is the third time one has come past <laughs> um, and it's pissing me off. Um, so we've got Ben here. Uh, hey, hello. And yeah, we're in Richmond Park, currently sitting next to um, Pen Ponds. Whoop, whoop. Uh, shout out to Pen Ponds. <laughs> um, and I'm uh, making this now because I've just made my first herp find of the day. Where's he gone? Oh, there. <laughs> um, and yep, you go. Uh, I think I've put, had them on my channel before once uh, for my Trayborth herp walk. Um, good catch there. But, um, yeah, this one I found myself literally just under a, a log there. Um, but, yeah, so this is the common toad. Uh, There's quite a few ways how you can tell them apart from the um, common frog, because those are uh, the two main, um, oh, what's it called? Um, and, um, what are they called? Anuras, which are the uh, frogs and toads. Um, so toads uh, are technically kind of frogs, but they're such called cool toads because they have drier skin and dry and warty skin. Uh, I'll probably hopefully put some shots of closer up for you. Um, also, the w the easy way to tell the difference is these guys you'll also find in drier areas, which is quite a bit easier uh, to tell. And also, these guys' body position um, they sit a lot flatter, whilst um, common frogs sit a lot taller. Uh, we also have the um, Natterjack toad in the UK and also the um, the marsh frog. But Natterjack toad is very rare, very unlikely to see it. This is not one of those. Uh, and the marsh frog is an introduced species, but again, it's another frog, so it's a bit like you can quite easily tell. Um, See, so, oh yeah, its Latin name is Bufo Bufo. Uh, so yeah. Um, so we'll see what else we can find. Uh, so as you can see, we're still at Pen Ponds. We're now at the lower one and at the other end. Um, but uh, so we're just gonna start flipping some um, logs here at the water's edge. Uh, so here we go. Oh, there's a little froglet even before I've uh, flipped it. So this is. Oh jeez, you won't really be able to see. We'll try and get a close up. But um, a little common frog, frog look. This will be uh, from this year's uh, hatch. Um, <laughs> what a surprise! But um, geez, I'll try and get you close up. But um, so here we go. We've got a little close up of the uh, frog look. So uh, I won't speak too much about this one. Just let it go. Should find another one. If not, I'll. Come back and put a voice over it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, after that little froglet surprise, um, we'll take a look under this log. Oh, isn't this? Nice? So what we've got is a uh, one of last year's. Oh God, where are you going? Okay. So it was a common frog. Um, can't remember the Latin name completely, it's Rana something I believe. Uh, I'll post it in the description. But um, it was about a year length and it would have been great to give you a side by side comparison by to this, which is our um, common toad. And so this is another kind of year length example. But yeah, so so far we're on for two common frogs, two common toads. Um, so we've got all the common amphibians, bar the common, um, bar the common newt, which I know a place where I've definitely found them here before. So um, let's go see if we can bag all three. Uh, Take a bit of a 
challenging way, so... Fuck this! Oh, yes, guys, so, um, wow, this has been an amazing day. Um, so, we found a load of herbs. Uh, we found, we didn't manage to find Smooth Newt in the end, but, so we found common toad, common frogs. And now, what I was really hoping for was this, the grass snake, Natrix Natrix. Um, I'd been told that they were around here. I knew they, there was good habitat and all stuff. Um, asked one of the, you know, we're in the Isabella plantation. I asked one of the um, staff here how often they saw them. Um, and he said they were quite common here. Uh, and like, he told me a few places. Um, and he said, oh, um, normally they find eggs and stuff in, what's it called? Um, like their waste piles and stuff for grass. So I was like, okay, we found this one, just that Ben's standing on top of my, uh, my Ben, if you show just quickly, yeah. Um, that, um, yeah, I thought, okay, let's check it out. Came over the top, saw this little beauty dash into what was a wood pile here. Uh, and we've had to move it and I'm sorry to anyone who says we're disturbing habitat but I was I was not gonna miss my first grass wild snake um, I am so thrilled with myself uh, literally I lifted up this log here and it was just sitting right here uh, yeah I, I, I've been musked it stinks you can see like sprayed all over me, uh, and yeah, it's creepy. It stinks so badly. We're gonna go for a swim, I think, in the river afterwards, just to wash myself off because it's not a nice smell. But yeah, so to tell you, uh, well, actually, this, this is um, well, I won't be able to sex them because they're, they're not um, sexually dimorphic. And uh, but this one um, is a sub adult. It's probably about two, two, three years old. Um, yeah, they get, um, so this one's probably about two, two and a half foot, uh, they, they can get up to about five foot, uh, six foot even really, but, uh, so, th so this one's still quite a young, small one, but isn't he a beauty, or she, um, so, um, I'll just say a little bit about them, um, they are one of three species of snake that we have in the UK, um, or native species of snake that we have in the UK. There's the grass snake, which I'm holding here, uh, which can be found um, through uh, Wales and most of southern and midland England. Um, it's not really found too far north, so Scotland is exempt from. Uh, and we have the smooth snake, which is our rarer snake, which even if I found it, I would not be able to be doing this because it is protected by law and you're not allowed to touch it. But that's only found in a small area in the New Forest. Um, Yep, and then uh, we have the adder, so um, which uh, you can find virtually everywhere. Um, but that's our one venomous snake. So here we have this is a uh, grass snake, part of the clubid bird family. And yeah, it isn't he just a beauty? This is this I've I've had other people find them and me like touch them before, but I've never actually caught my own one myself so that that's what makes this feel really good right, uh, so yeah uh, I, I don't think we can top off this video anymore this has been made my summer um, I mean I'm going to Arizona later this year and um, I knew that if I saw my first snake there in the wild I'd be a bit disappointed so this this is completely made up for it so oh, isn't Aren't you just a beauty? I mean, oh. so yeah. See, as I said, I can't top this off now. Well, do some close ups, but yeah. So, yeah, guys, as we did with our uh, common toad and everything else earlier, um, we released them exactly where we found them. So, um, however sad I will be to see this guy go. And I might not see another grass snake for quite some time. But, um, yeah, so it, it's something you've got to do. I mean, it's such a pretty snake. Like, I, it's 
it's a sad moment in my in my eyes. Yeah, so I'm just gonna release him back where we found him. Well, it's not quite the same. It has moved a bit. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, share the video around. It'd be really good. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah. Enjoy the next video. Bye. Let's do the dance. dance. <laughs>